most advanced stupefication in the world. Whoa, whoa! What's up for you? Hey everyone, it's Dan here with another dance mining. In today's episode, we want to introduce you to MCOR technology, our patented refrigeration system that is the secret behind the high efficiency of Quest dehumidifiers. We did talk about this technology in a dance planning from several years ago. You may have remembered, it was myself, Scott Sloan, what did you, what did you, what did you, what did you, what back from the pit of hell. <laughs> Wasn't that a nice trip down memory lane? Well, okay, it was, it was a hot session, literally, sitting by the fireplace, but we decided maybe we need to do a little bit jo better job of explaining our technology, especially now that we've given it the name MCOR. So more importantly, we want to tell you not only how MCOR works, but what the value is of this in providing higher efficiency than any other dehumidification system in the world and doing so with less heat added back to your space. So let's take a look at some of these various refrigeration systems and how we got to MCOR. To understand how a dehumidifier works, we have to understand the refrigeration cycle. This is the basic vapor compression cycle that exists in any refrigeration component, whether it's a dehumidifier, a refrigerator, air conditioner, your car's air conditioner, or the large systems that take care of chilling and cooling commercial office buildings or industrial food processing facilities. It all comes down to four basic components, and we see them here. Condenser, expansion device, evaporator, and compressor. The primary two we want to focus on is the evaporator and the condenser. In your air conditioner, the evaporator is pulling heat out of the air, cooling it off so when it comes into your house, it's nice and cool. That condenser sits outside and throws the heat away. In the case of a dehumidifier, this is all contained within a single box. So as you can see in this diagram, the air comes across, cools off to the point where the water falls out, and then it goes through the condenser where it picks up the heat and goes back to the space. This is why we have to have warm air coming out of a dehumidifier. It's basically a byproduct of the process where we remove moisture. Of course, the more efficient the dehumidification process is, the less heat that goes back into your space. This is a traditional dehumidifier, and the technology is still used in those little bucket dehumidifiers you get from retail stores, or actually most of our major competitors. Not one to rest on their laurels, about 20 years ago, Thermostore and the Quest brand came up with a new and better way of doing dehumidification. Essentially, we put an air-to-air -air heat exchanger in the middle of our unit and called it LGR technology for low grain reduction. We were going for the most efficient way to gain a capacity boost by pre-cooling the air coming into the unit so when it hit that evaporator coil, it was nice and cold and ready to start dropping water out. Through this technology, we led the industry by creating some sh such items as the Quest 105, which achieved over eight pints per kilowatt hour, far and away the leader of its day. Fast forward to 2017, Quest launches the 506, our first unit featuring MCOR technology. Of course, we didn't call it back then. We called it multi-coil technology because it uses multiple coils, three to five coils within each dehumidifier. That design proved so effective, we've now propagated that throughout our line, culminating at this moment with the Quest 335, the most efficient dehumidifier in the world, also featuring m technology. So let's take a look at how that works. Like our other dehumidifier technologies, the air starts by coming through MERV-13 filtration, trying to get the air as clean as possible before it enters our unit. Then it passes through coil number one, our pre-evaporator. Its job is to cool the air, and it does so by evaporating some of the refrigerant like a normal evaporator. After that, the air passes through our second coil, the evaporator. This is the coldest spot in the whole unit. It pulls the temperature down, dropping massive amounts of water out. After the air goes through the evaporator, it goes to coil three, our recovery coil. The magic of coil number three is it's a recovery coil, taking the refrigerant from the first coil, recondensing it, so we can recycle or reuse it in the evaporator. With a multi-coil system, we use the refrigerant twice. It not only gets us a boost in efficiency, but it also gives us a 30 to 40% increase in capacity for the same amount of electricity used. That's the secret. That's where we get higher efficiency, lower heat output, and more bang for your buck. 
With M-Core technology, you can see that we get the highest efficiency and most capacity possible from any dehumidification technology. But in this design configuration, we also get other benefits such as straight through design, so it makes ductwork easy. We also can handle a lot of external static pressure, meaning you can hook up a lot of ductwork, extra filtration, and in most of our units, compensate for any dirty filter or other pressure drop that leads to degradation of performance. With m we're leading to the future of dehumidification technology. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you learned something on the stands planing. Stick around, we'll be making more. If you, and as always, if you have any questions, we're just a phone call, email, or a fax away. Get a hold of us later, my little questies.